Hey guys, what's up? It's Riot from VS3GFX, and today I'm going to show you how to make soft boxes in Cinema 4D. So instead of paying $80 to to get soft boxes and get them for what they're like, how for their lightings and stuff like that, instead of paying $80 or more for soft boxes, I'm going to show you how to make them. So this is one of my thing or one of the things I made. Uh, this might be a lengthy tutorial, so just watch it. It might be like 15 to 20 minutes. I don't know. But it, it takes a while to make. So go to file, new. Go ahead and put a rectangle and then copy it two times. So control C, V, V. And then name this one. Put large. Medium. And then small. And you'll see why I do this in a second. Okay, now you want to go ahead and put a plane, and then you also want to put a loft nerve. Put the loft nerves under the plane, but don't set it at the children. Turn the plane to a 90 degree angle. So whenever you do it, it should click all of them. Yeah, actually take the loft nerves and put it above the plane, and then put a light. Go to the light and click It's where it says visible light. Make sure it's on none. Uh, put uh, I'm gonna put the uh, intensity to about 85. You can put it wherever you want. I'm just doing it. The type where it says Omni, click on that. And go to area, and that should be good. Yeah. No oh, shadow. Go to area. Uh, I forgot to do that. Okay. Now make the lighting the light as big as this plane. So it's 400 by 400. Make the light 400 by 400. Okay, whatever. If it doesn't work like that, just match it up. So doesn't have to be exact as long as it's about the size. It's good. And then you want to go ahead and push it forward like that much. Now go ahead and click on your loft nerves. Click on the no. Click on the medium plane. Put the loft nerves right under the plane. And drag all these and put it under loft nerves. So now, whenever I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and make a floor real quick. It'll select all of them. Watch. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it so it's like this. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and click on the. Oh wait. Where's the light? Back. So like the light too, if I to do that. Because we want to turn all of them so it's not, you don't have to match them all up and it takes forever. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and click on the medium and drag that back a little bit. And you see, if, if it's under the loft nerves, it'll do that and it'll make it like a box type thing. So if put the medium and then put the size down to 250 or no, probably like 200 and then 200 for height. And then take the small and put it to about 50, and then 50. So now whenever I do this, it'll look like that. And then you want to go ahead and click on the plane. Put these under the plane, so it's like that, and you can just name it. Uh, now just keep it as plain, doesn't matter. Name it whatever you want. Go to objects, null, and put all these under null. So it should look like that. And you can if you click on all of them, it should do that. But next you want to put the light, put that under the loft nerves. Put it right here. Now the light should be in front of it a little bit. Uh, put I'm gonna move it a little bit forward more. There we go. Okay, now move all of it back. So just click on the soft box and move it back, and then up a little bit. 
and now the colors come in. So you want to go double click on this, make a new color, the color as black, and then you can just that checks for me. Just take that off. Put this on the loft nerbs, or you can just copy it like this. Control hold. Put on all of these. Now the plane is going to be white, all white. But you see, I messed up right here. I forgot to do this. Go ahead and make the, click on the plane. Take it out of that if you didn't, and then move it forward just like the light, but not as much as the light. So move it forward just a little bit because it can't be in it or it won't show. Okay, now you can move it all back. Okay, so now once you have that, just, you can move it around, do it, set it to whatever you want. Put the black on the soft on the little boxes, and then you want to go ahead and make a new one. Put the color. Don't don't even put a color. Put the luminance to white. Don't check that. Luminance to white. Texture will be gradient, and then click on alpha, check it, and then texture will be layer. No, wrong way. It's gradient then layer. So gradient. And this one be layer. Now we'll right click on this and go to plane. Make it as a plane so it's like that. And then set this to 200. Actually, pretty sure it's not. There we go. Yeah. And then click on alpha. Put this to full white, and then go to luminance. Go click, click. Put this to full white. Make sure you put this to circular, and then drag this down a little bit, and then put this to kind of a grayish type thing, like not halfway, but a little bit more. So it's like that. And then you also want to do that with the alpha too. So. Scoot it over. And then also put this to do 2D circular. Okay, now luminance. Or you're, not, you're actually done with the colors. So now put this, the matte one, or whatever you have it saved, the white, as under plane. So it's like that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a softbox. But I kind of want it to be a little bit brighter, so I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to put. Oh, that's good. Put the light to 100. And that's pretty much it. Now I can go ahead and put in remote, a text object and just put it on the floor. And then if you don't want it to appear in the render, if you just want to be able to see it, say it's like this. Watch. That's what I did in the other one. So you had it like that and it's in the way. You can't find a good angle. Just go ahead and check the softbox. Click on this. Put the top one to green and then the bottom one to red. So it should show up in your uh, thing right here, but whenever you render it's not going to be there. Let's see, watch. It's gone, and then it puts it to green so it's not going to be there. So, now I can put my text, whoa. Yep, to like 50. Making a new color. I'm going to put the black all the way down for color and then luminance. Put black all the way down. Or put a grayish type thing. And then put reflection. Put that all the way up and then put Fresnel, Fresnel, Fresnel whatever. Doesn't matter. Luminance, I'm going to put that a little bit darker. Okay. Doesn't matter. 
Okay, now I'm going to make another one. I'm going to copy this one and then put this to whatever color you want. I'm just doing this just to show you. I'm going to put it to golden, I guess. Okay. First put the black one on and then put the yellow one on. I'm going to switch it around. Click on the black and go to and type in C1 under selection. And that makes it like this. But I'm gonna change the font. So object font. I'm gonna put it to impact, I guess. Does it matter. So now whenever I go to render it. Or actually, I'm gonna put the settings real quick so it's not it looks like shit. 1280 by 720, or whatever your settings are, doesn't matter. I actually have them saved, so don't need that. It's not a different one. So once you have those saved, or you need a global illumination, ambient occlusion, you can just click on effect. Uh, global illumination and ambient occlusion, they should be on here just somewhere because I already have them in, so they're not. Then output, 1280 by 720, multi or anti alice whatever, best, still image, and then I'm going to do 2 by 2, and then 4 by 4. So now I can just, go, I'm going to just go ahead and add a light up here. I mean, I'm just doing it for effect. Uh, put the floor to... I'm not sure. I'm gonna make a new light. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a sky. So color. Put this all the way up. Illuminance. I'm gonna put this to like not a blue, but like a, that type. Of thing. So it should be like that. And then put reflection. Twenty. Nineteen. Whatever. For now. Put that to like thirty. Now. The color, I mean, the luminance, I'm going to put that down a little bit because it shows a lot. So, 90, I guess. There we go. I'm going to put that onto the sky. So, I'm going to make a sky. And then I'm going to render that out and see what it looks like. I'm going to take off global illumination because that makes the render twice as long. So I'm going to put the floor to this, let me go ahead, I don't know why I'm doing that, I can just copy this, control C, V, put the color to all white, put it a little bit gray, and then reflection, I'm going to put that down to about 30, and then 18. 1818 and then put that onto the floor and yeah so if I render that it should look like that but I'm gonna put the global illumination and show you what it looks like after I'm gonna put I'm gonna make some just put some things like I did in the picture so just put like a sphere right here make this one giant whoa way too big Control C V. If you don't know what Control C V does, it copies and pastes. If you don't want to do that, you just go to uh, edit, copy, and paste. And then that should be good. I'm just gonna put a color on it. So I'm gonna put the color, I'm gonna make a new white. Control C B because I need to put the reflection all the way up. So reflection full that fifty. And then put the color uh, the luminance to all white. Yep. 
put this onto the two little ball things. It should not be able to see them because it does that. So put global animation is already on, and then render it. See, I do not know why global illumination is not working right now. Delete. Okay, let's try this. Effect. Anime occlusion. Effect. Global illumination. And then see if that's saved. Nope. No, I should do it. There we go. The point of uh, softbox is to make the lighting in whatever you're hat and your uh, in Cinema 4D whatever you're making it makes the lighting a crap load better or shit load better I don't know what's that crap load. but it just makes it a lot better and you'll see why if you you can test them out you can put a normal light and you can put a softbox but it does take the render it makes the render time longer. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, this is what I made, and I made this in like an hour because I could not figure out how to make a uh, softbox, and then I finally made it, so I just added these things in. I just added spheres and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Please like the videos and favorite them and like them more because it seems like y'all like all the other ones more than tutorials. Y'all like intros and stuff like that better. So just like this, and thank you for watching, guys. I'm Riot from VS3GFX, and see you.